Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus, drydocks.com, and uh, another project to share with you. And this one is really, really unique. If you're a fan uh, of the 1960s era TV show, uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, you're gonna kinda sorta recognize this. I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute. So if you are of the correct age demographic, you'll remember the TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, and more specifically, you would re definitely remember the Seaview submarine that was really the star of the show. What you see before you is a reimagining of that craft that a gentleman by the name of Dennis DeBoer came up with, of DeBoer Models. Uh, this is 1 1 50th scale or 46 inches in overall length. It's actually a really great size. It's got enough presence on the water so that it doesn't bob around like a cork, uh, but it's not so big that it makes transportation difficult. Now, the story behind this is that I actually originally built this uh, about eight years ago for a friend, and the overarching idea was to make a very simple model uh, that was reliable and could move about on the surface uh, with a minimum of hassle and the maximum of presence. So two channels, two pumps, and that's it. Let's show you a little bit more about what that looks like when we delve into the boat in a moment. So let's take a look at the boat uh, starting at the bow and working our way back. We've got a, a mounting bracket in here for the hold down screw that uh, keeps the upper hull bolted uh, to the lower, and that's it right there. In the upper hull, we've got these bright 10 millimeter uh, LED lights and uh, more LED lights uh, all through there. We've got a bow light, um, we've got a, a, a tower light, and then two in the back. And then we've also got some bright blue LEDs that shine down into these propulsion tubes and shine out uh, those exhaust ports, so uh, a really cool looking effect when it's all powered up. Um, we've got some support brackets in here to help maintain shape, and since we're here anyway, I'll show you uh, these magnets, high-powered magnets that clip the top hull down to the bottom, um, hold it together magnetically. Here's the, uh, the watertight cylinder for this boat, and again, as I said, very, very simple. This is a 6400 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery pack, two electronic speed controllers, one for each of the main pumps, and a receiver, and that is it. There's nothing fancy uh, and nothing complicated to go wrong. You've got a uh, lighting port that you would connect your lighting power to, and a waterproof connector for uh, the main pumps, and a waterproof switch to turn everything on and off. Moving to the back, we've got the waterproof connector for those pumps. And we've got two Rule 1100 gallon per hour bilge pumps. And those provide propulsion for everything. And you can see this rather complicated ducting that all comes in here. But basically, uh, you've got the intake. Uh, and that's the water is sucked in from the bottom of the boat into the pump um, and then expelled in through these different channels into the left and right exhaust ports. Uh, and then you can see this, this baffling in the back. When both of the pumps are engaged, you've got equal thrust coming out so the boat goes straight. And to turn, you simply throttle back on one and throttle up the other. The thrust gets reflected off this baffle plate and turns the boat left and right. In practical application, um, will it win any drag races? You know, probably not. Um, will it turn on a dime? No, it definitely won't do that either. Um, but it will trundle about the pond at a very stately pace, uh, looking exceptionally menacing as it does so. So again, simple, reliable boat that is just a ton of fun to operate. Uh, you simply connect the power, put the lid on, throw it in the water, uh, and you're good to go. With six amps of power, you'll be at the pond for a long time before you run out of juice. Let's take a minute and I'll show you how everything gets uh, connected, hooked up, and what the boat looks like when it's all put together. 
Um, as I mentioned, you got the cylinder here and these uh, end caps just twist on and off. Um, so we just make sure that they're seated tightly. We're gonna place inside these cracks here and uh, stretch this antenna back along all wrapping it under this Velcro. I keep that antenna stretched out. Or, or this is a test tube actually, this is the antenna. And this will get wrapped. The cylinder, plug in our watertight connector there and uh, do up our lighting connector. And that simply plugs in to the port right here. Now I did not connect the battery, but as soon as you do, those LED lights will come on. Uh, let's actually take a second, we'll back up and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we've, uh, we've connected the battery. Uh, now the main power is not on, uh, but you can connect the LED lights. And we did this on purpose so that you can display the boat pouring up the pumps. So you don't actually have to have the radio on, you can have all of really cool LED lights uh, working and you can see that blue light you know reflected out from the bottom it's a, a really powerful uh, light source under in uh, we got some foam in here and uh, and this just simply goes on over top of the um, compartments like this and you drop the lid on. And we'll show that to you in one second. You've got it in, we got two stainless bolts, one in the bow and one in the stern. And here, and one back here. And you'll tighten that down. You've got the uh, upper hull locked into place on the lower hull. I just what really wanna show you how cool this boat looks. Those, uh, those lines uh, are certainly unique. And you'll get uh, a lot of comments from people at the pond wanting to know what this is because they'll kind of recognize it, but uh, not really. All right, guys, we're going to end this video with a little bit of footage that we took at the lake as we tested it out and got it ready uh, for sale. Um, I'm going to end it here. My name is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. Uh, I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions uh, or comments about this or any other project that you see, uh, email me anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. Don't forget to visit my website at nautilusdrydocks.com for uh, information, tips, resources, products, and much more concerning this really cool hobby of RC submarines. Thanks a lot for joining me, everyone. We'll catch you next time.